All the footage used here belongs to their respective owner. I or the channel does not claim any rights over them. Warning, this video contains some medical images. These are for teaching purpose only. Hi everyone, I am Shahan Laik and today in this video, I will discuss about cystic hygroma. You can see the picture, how it looks. You can see a swelling which is there just around the neck of the patient and this is known as cystic hygroma. So basically what is cystic hygroma? Let us go into it. Cystic hygromas are solitary or multiple cystic growth that tend to be seen mainly in the neck or in the head of a child. So you can see the right side image of the child where you can see there is a swelling which is around the neck of the child. Basically it is related with the lymphatic system because in this swelling it is the collection of lymphatics fluid that is there. So you can see that the internal jugular vein which is related with that of the cystic hygroma is there and also the thoracic duct and cisterna chile. So all these are related with the lymphatic system of our body and these has created a cystic lesion around the neck or the head of a child and that is known as cystic hygroma. When the child is inside the womb of the mother, we can actually diagnose cystic hygroma. But for that reason, we need to do a process known as amniocentesis. You can see in the picture, amniocentesis can help in diagnosis of cystic hygroma and rule out other genetical abnormalities in the child. Basically what happens, you can see here, this is a ultrasound transducer which is uh, placed above the belly of the mother and then with the help of syringe, you can take the amniotic fluids. Now by examining the amniotic fluid that is known as amniocentesis we can actually find out if the baby is having cystic lesion around the neck or the head so that is cystic hygroma and by using the same process we can actually rule out the other genetical abnormalities that can be found in the fetus this is another picture you can see how the boy is having a swelling around his neck and that is the cystic hygroma. Basically, it is a collection of lymph and cystic lesion that is around the neck, you can find out. So, why I am showing this picture is there are so many images that are asked in the examination. So, let us know about it. So, basically, what is cystic hygroma? What is the definition of cystic hygroma? Let us learn about it. Cystic hygroma is a collection of fluid-filled sac. So what is this fluid filled sac? This is known as cyst, cystic, the name itself says cystic hygroma. Cystic means it contains fluid filled sac. So cystic hygroma and it is present around the head and the neck. So it is basically found in 75% of patient around the head, around the neck and that is why it is cystic hygroma cystic means collection of fluid in a sac so that is why it is known as cystic usually it can be found on the left side and also in the armpit of the newborn babies so always remember generally in the left side of the baby you can find this kind of lesions and it is generally found around the head and neck and it results due to a malformation of lymphatic system. So there is a lymphatic system which is malformed in this child or it can be a lymphatic system malformation in the developing fetus which can be detected inside the womb. Now this can be of two types microcystic and macrocystic which I will discuss further in this video. But before discussing that, let me show you these pictures. Now, these are very common pictures. So many times it is asked in the examination. So I, I am showing you this picture. You can see that these babies are having the swelling. And basically, you can find on the left side of the 
uh, swelling the first baby you can see the left side the second line you can also see the first baby is having on the left side and also the second line third baby on the right side you can see all three or four lump huge lumps are there and these are actually the cystic lesion basically it is macrocytic uh, cystic lesion which I will discuss in this video but uh, you can see that all these are in the left side okay so left side is more common for the cystic hygroma okay left side and around the neck around the head that is more common now let us discuss what is the cause of this cystic hygroma this is very very important because we want to know why this cystic hygroma is caused the exact cause of cystic hygroma remains unclear we don't know the proper cause but we can understand that this is because of either genetical reason or it may be due to environmental reason so both the genetics and the environment can play or influence in formation of cystic hygroma in this child basically the common environmental cause that can cause the cystic hygroma is viral infection so if the patient or if the baby is have having any kind of viral infection that can also develop the cystic hygroma and sometimes the viral infection is transmitted during the pregnancy from the mother to the child and because this virus has entered into the child uh, in the fetal in the fetal stage so you can get this uh, uh, the child the fetus can get this cystic hygroma another thing is ingestion of the drug basically when the uh, mother is pregnant she is taking some drug or she is taking some kind of alcohols all these can lead to formation of cystic hygroma in the child Along with this, there are also other reasons like genetic reasons. So if there is any genetic malformation, then it can also result in cystic hygroma. Now let me show you another picture. You can see this baby is also having cystic hygroma. This is basically a soft lump you can find. If you touch the lump, you can find it is soft and this lump is generally found around the neck or around the head of the child and you can be, uh, if you examine this lump uh, with the help of ultrasonography you can find out that this lump or this cystic lesion has a collection of lymph and it is connected with the lymphatic system of the body so basically it contains a lot of lymph inside it now i will tell you another important point that this lump can not only be found around the neck or the head it can also be found in the groin of the child it can also be found in the armpit of the child so this two point you can add up to your notes like armpit and groin the, these are another uh, other two regions where you can find this lump another thing is there are two types i told you i will tell you in this video microcystic type and macrocystic type there are two type one is microcystic the name itself says micro means small so what is the meaning of micro micro means small so cluster of small clear black or red vesicle so either you can get black vesicle or you can get red vesicle basically these are small vesicles red color or black color small vesicles and these are collection of all of them small small vesicles so cluster of these are known as microcystic type okay microcystic and another form is macro Macrocystic. Macro means large. So these uh, uh, cysts are large. Okay. These cysts are large in size and basically they appear bluish color. So bluish color, large cyst. Bluish color, large cyst important thing which i will discuss is the pressure effect what is pressure effect basically because of this large cyst or swelling this interfere with the breathing of the child and also it can result in sleep apnea episodes and sometimes the uh, the child is also having feeding difficulty and also failure to thrive so all these are there in the uh, in the baby Another thing which I will mention is known as 
प्रेशर इफेक्ट सो वॉट इज प्रेशर इफेक्ट बेसिकली प्रेशर इफेक्ट इज द डिफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द एडजासन बोन एंड एडजासन टिथ बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ह्यूज सिस्टिकलेशन दैट इज नोन एज प्रेशर इफेक्ट सो बेसिकली बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ह्यूज सिस्ट इट कैन इम्पैक्ट ह्यूज प्रेशर ऑन द बोन्स एंड द तीथ एंड इट कैन रिजल्ट इन डिफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द एडजशन बोन एंड डिफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द एडजशन टीथ एंड दिस फेनामिन इज नोन एज प्रेशर इफेक्ट दिस इज नोन एज प्रेशर इफेक्ट so all these points must be clear in your head what is microcystic what is macrocystic and what is pressure effect so all these can come in examination now look at this picture this picture is obviously showing you cystic hygroma and it is a macrocystic type you can see how huge it is and because of this huge lump because of this huge cystic lesion the patient is having different kinds of problem like the sleep apnea and difficulty in swallowing and also breathing problems now let us discuss about prenatal diagnosis basically when the baby is inside the uh, womb of the mother in the fetal form then how can we diagnose the cystic hygroma for occasionally a cystic hygroma in the fetus may be picked up during the maternal ultrasound during the pregnancy we do a lot of us and from that we can understand that the fetus is having the cystic hygroma sometimes the doctor can also prescribe the amnio sentences i told you this one this is a technique by the help of it with the help of a syringe they collect the amount of the amniotic fluid and they test to rule out any kind of genetical abnormality is there or not and from there you can also find out that if the baby if the fetus is having the cystic hygroma or not you can see this is a rare ultrasound where you can find out that nuchal cystic hygroma is there and basically i told you cystic hygroma is also related with the genetical abnormality here the fetus is suffering from turner syndrome so this is a picture where the arrows you can see in the ultrasound these are showing the cystic hygroma basically a nuchal cystic hygroma and it can be found in the turner syndrome this is a patient of turner syndrome who is having the nuchal cystic hygroma this is a ultrasound showing that now let us discuss about the postnatal cystic hygroma so after the birth the baby is out now and we have to find out that if the baby is having cystic hygroma or not how we can understand by simple clinical diagnosis if you can observe that you can observe that the cystic lesion is around the baby's neck or the head region and sometimes it can also be found in the groin region or armpit region armpit region so basically how will you manage it generally it is uh, the surgery department who manage it their surgical removal of the swelling is done under the general anesthesia and sometimes in case of the large lesion we use a therapy known as sclerotherapy sclerotherapy with the help of some chemicals we generally use to scar or shrink the growth so we will decrease the growth or shrink the growth with the help of a therapy known as sclerotherapy once the growth has become smaller then it can be surgically excised so if the growth again occurs that means if the growth recurs then multiple sclerotherapy sessions are done and other treatment modalities are also there like the radio frequency ablation and sometimes laser therapy is also used that is laser induced thermotherapy laser induced thermotherapy and also chemotherapy steroid medication all these are used in this cystic hygroma this is another picture and the last image where the cystic hygroma is shown
तो दिस इज़ द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो इफ़ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो मेक अ थम्स अप एंड प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल इफ़ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल एंड प्लीज़ विजिट आवर प्ले लिस्ट इन द प्ले लिस्ट वी हैव मेनी वीडियोज ऑन मेडिसिन एंड मेनी वीडियोज ऑन पैथोलॉजी वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज ऑन मेडिसिन वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज ऑफ पैथोलॉजी नाउ एंड यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड ए लॉट अबाउट मेनी अदर डिजीजेस दैट यू मस्ट नो so for that reason we have created a separate playlist known as must know diseases you must watch that playlist you just run the playlist and watch all the videos one by one and then you can understand a lot about the other diseases also thank you so much for watching this video and please comment down below if you want to know about any disease thank you have a nice day bye bye